life force and seven bodies part 2 there always remains an attraction and repulsion this goes on every moment without a break you are continuously bringing the influence either within or throwing it out all incoming influences are love and outgoing influences are hatred the two poles always exist together when you love someone then certainly a moment will come when you feel repulsed the incoming influence brings loves sentiments and then with outgoing influence the sentiment of hate comes in thus each moment of love is followed by the moment of repulsion vital energy always exists in polarities this energy cannot exist on one pole alone and when you try to make it happen you are trying the impossible this is important to know in the process of inward journey the duality in many forms always remain and the basic purpose of meditation is to transcend you beyond the duality of any kind duality of male female love and hatred attraction and repulsion whatever you may call no one can love someone without hating them at another time love and hatred are two sides of the same coin they exist together and they disappear together the very purpose of meditation is to dissolve these this vital force cannot exist on a single pole the polarity exists a friend is found to be an enemy one day this goes on this process of incoming and outgoing continues up to the seventh body nobody can exist without going through this process we never take this polarity into account so we are not disturbed about it so far as life is concerned it makes no distinction between the incoming and the outgoing breath morally there is no distinction both are same so there is no distinction this is natural but as far as the second body is concerned hatred need not be there instead love has to be there but when you begin to choose the choices that you make will be against the other this will create disturbance this is the reason that the first body remains healthier than the second one etheric body always remains in conflict because of morality this moral choice has rendered it miserable when love happens a feeling of well-being comes in and when hatred comes in you tend to feel diseased this is bound to happen so a person who understands the nature of polarities is always in equilibrium and this equilibrium is the essence of meditation he knows the nature he knows it is bound to happen so he never tries to be loving when love is not flowing nor does he create any hatred things come and go he is not attracted to the incoming nor repulsed by the outgoing he remains just a witness in the middle to him this is just breath coming in and going out buddha introduced a meditation technique called anapana sati yoga 
or vipassana means watchfulness this is concerned with witnessing it says just be a witness to your incoming and outgoing breath just be a witness this you have to begin from the physical body buddha never talked about the other bodies in this meditation because these come by themselves by and by as your awareness of this polarity increases you will become aware of this second body buddha says then be indifferent towards hatred it does not matter if there is love or hatred be indifferent to both only then you will be able to transcend do not get attached to either of them when you are attached to one pole the other also remains there just hiding and then you will not be at ease buddha says when the beloved comes in it is welcomed and when the beloved is no more you lament this meeting with the repulsive one is misery while the separation from the repulsive one is blissful this is how we go on dividing ourselves so when you divide yourself among these polarities you are bound to be miserable when you are a witness to these polarities then you consider these as a natural happening to the body concerned these bodies exist only because of this polarity the moment you are aware of this you go beyond the specific body this is only after you have transcended the first body that you entered the second when you transcend the first body you move on to the second and so on and so forth this is the process of transformation be aware of the polar be aware of the polarities in the first body then you can move on to the second witnessing takes you beyond polarities beyond life and death both incoming and outgoing breaths differ from one another when you are a witness then you are neither this brings in a third force into being thus you are no more the manifestation of prana in the physical body you are then the prana the life force the witness you can see the life manifest you can see that life manifests on the physical plane because of this polarity as soon as this polarity ceases physical body also ceases it is only because of tensions birth and death that the physical body exists at every moment the body moves between these two poles and thus life continues in the second body love and hatred is the basic polarity and this manifests in so many so many ways the basic polarities remain like and dislike every moment like becomes dislike and dislike becomes like you never see this when your liking becomes disliking and when you suppress your disliking you continue to fool yourself by saying that the liking will become will continue always also if you dislike something and continue to do so you are missing out on the moment when liking has entered you as we are we continue to suppress our love for our enemies and suppress our hatred for our friends by nature we go on suppressing we only allow one movement and when it comes back to us 
we are at ease but this can never continue in the second body vital force manifests as like and dislike love and hate but this happens as breath influence remains only the medium while air is the medium in the physical body it is not the question of like alone when you come in contact with someone this does not mean that you are in the room and as soon as someone enters you start liking or disliking even if you are alone both liking and disliking will go on alternating this body exists because of polarity as soon as you are a witness to it then you can just laugh at the whole process then there is no enemy or no friend then you know this is a natural phenomenon when you are a witness to your likes and dislikes in the second body only then you can transcend to the third body otherwise most of us remain stuck at the first body life long your third body is astral it has magnetic force this magnetic force is the breath in the body one moment you are powerful and next moment you are powerless one moment you are hopeful and the next moment you can be hopeless also one moment you are confident and then the very next moment you are uncertain this is the incoming and outgoing magnetic force at such moments you can even defy god also there are moments when you are afraid of your own shadow so when the magnetic force is in you or is coming in you you feel great and when it is not you are no one this goes on changing it is just like day and night the cycle goes on and thus even a person like napoleon had his important moments even a coward person has his moments of bravery in the chinese technique of judo karate and the like one learns to know when the person is powerless this is the moment when you attack the opponent and if he is powerful you are bound to be defeated the participants learn the moment when the magnetic force is going out thus the person incites the opponent to attack him when the magnetic force is coming in thus the incoming and outgoing magnetic forces correspond to your breathing because of this whenever you have to do something difficult you take a deep breath in and then hold your breath in you cannot lift a heavy stone when your breath is going out and when the breath is coming in or held in then you can do it thus your breath corresponds to all that is going on in the third body so when the breath is going out unless the person is trained to fool you that is the moment to attack this is the secret of judo and karate this way you can defeat even a person stronger than you while the magnetic force has gone out of him the astral body dwells within the magnetic field this magnetic field acts like the air surrounding the physical body there is always magnetic force around you you continue to breathe in and breathe out 
you need to be aware of this incoming and outgoing magnetic force. And when you are aware of this, then you can neither be powerful nor powerless. You have transcended both. And then you enter the fourth body. This is your mental body. Thoughts come in and go. So far we have spoken of the physical body, we have spoken of the astral body and we have spoken of the magnetic body.